Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to connect Raspberry Pi Pico W to a Wi-Fi network and turn it into a web server to control digital outputs from a browser and receive temperature sensor data. Go to sony.org and click on the download link. Then install it on your computer. If you have never used MicroPython on your Raspberry Pi Pico W, you will need to add the MicroPython firmware. To do that, press and hold the boot cell button on your Raspberry Pi. Then plug in the cable that is connected to your computer. Now download the latest version of Raspberry Pi Pico firmware. Copy and paste the firmware file you downloaded into the file manager of Raspberry Pi. Open Sony Editor. In the bottom right corner, select Raspberry Pi Pico from the options. Then add Pico Zero library. Now let's begin writing the code. Firstly, start by importing the packages you will need to connect your Wi Fi network, read the onboard temperature sensor, and light the onboard LED. Add in the SSID and password for your network. Build a function to connect to your wireless LAN. Display and return the IP address of your Raspberry Pi Pico W. Create a new function that can be called to open a socket, so we can make connection between Raspberry Pi and the web server. Next, create a new function called web page that has two parameters, which are temperature and state. Add in standard HTML code to show control buttons and display the state of LED and temperature. Create a function that will start your web server so that a client can connect to it and control your LED and read the temperature. Call the functions that you have created and run the program. Copy the IP address and paste it into the web browser. Now you can control the onboard LED using these buttons and monitor the temperature. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Stay tuned and see you next time.